Big news coming in this morning. Chief of the top defense research organization of the DRDO has been sacked by the Modi government 15 months before his tenure was to expire. The appointments committee of the cabinet headed by Prime Minister Modi approved the ap removal of Avinash Chandar with effect from the 31st of January. Interestingly, Chandar had retired on the 30th of November last, last year after turning 64 and was given an extension of 18 months till May 2016. Chandar is said to be the chief architect of Agni series of ballistic missile system which were developed under highly restrictive international controls. The removal of Chanda just a month after extension is raising eyebrows. Analysts believe the action could have been taken after Modi expressed dissatisfaction with the working of the DRDO. Congress, meanwhile, has jumped onto the issue with senior Congress leader Digvijay Singh demanding an explanation from the Modi government. And Avinash Chandra, the SAC DRDO chief, has refused to respond to the controversy, saying it's completely the government's call. This is the big story we're tracking. The chief of the DRDO has been sacked by the Modi government. Interestingly, he had retired on the retired in November 2014, and he had been given an 18-month extension by the Modi government. Just uh, barely a month after his extension. His tenure has been cut short. That's a sacked uh, DRDO chief Avinash Chandar refusing to respond to the controversy. He had retired in November 2014. He had been given an 18-month extension by the Modi government. But interestingly, only a month after that extension was granted, his uh, tenure has been cut short. On the on live uh, from the national capital is with us uh, is our correspondent Jugal Purohit. Jugal, uh, interesting developments here. Analysts believe that the action could have been taken against the backdrop of Modi's comment that laid-back attitude in the DRDO will not be tolerated. Well, Simi, there are two things. Uh, firstly, we, we need to correct ourselves for our viewers' understanding. Avinash Chandra was appointed in May 2013. He had a tenure of three full years uh, or, uh, you know, intimation of the government, whichever comes earliest. And uh, he, of course, retired. But his continuation was something which was mentioned even in his appointment letter of May 2013. So it isn't as if he was given an extension by the Modi government and then the extension was taken away. He was anyways, uh, you know, serving on the pleasure of the government and the intimation came, he had to move. Nothing so uh, substantial about it. But yes, what is indeed surprising uh, is the fact that there is not a single explanation coming forward from the government. All that we have are basically twigs uh, in the air. If you recall, uh, very early on into his uh, prime ministerial innings, uh, Narendra Modi had visited the DRDO headquarters and there, uh, in a speech widely believed to be, uh, uh, you know, a very, very soft learning and lessons for the DRDO at establishment, had made it very clear that the world will not wait for the DRDO. The DRDO needs to catch up. He wants a younger, more energetic profile. He wants uh, younger scientists to, you know, uh, be heading laboratories of the B of the DRDO. He wants the DRDO to, you know, uh, c cut the flab and start delivering. We are all aware, Simi, that the armed forces. Uh, as, as the primary client of the DRDO have largely been unhappy at the kind of time cost uh, overruns which have uh, become synonymous with projects being given to DRDO. So uh, it, it's, it's actually all that we have. The government hasn't really come out with any sort of explanation behind just why it has decided to give the boot to a celebrated scientist. Remember Avinash Chandra is, is a scientist who's, who's largely been associated with India's hugely successful missile program chief architect of the Agni uh, missile program uh, as Avinash Chandra is known personally seems to be uh, uh, you know personally a scientist who has uh, absolutely fabulous credentials of leading among the very few successful programs of Indian defense establishment but why this order at this time is something which at least the government has not chosen to make it public Simi. Right Jugal I wanted one more clarification from you you're saying that uh Avinash Chandar had worked with the DRDO for a significant amount of time, but hadn't he? Didn't he retire in November last year, and wasn't he given an 18-month extension? Uh, yes, of course, he had retired in November last year and uh, as I said, in his appointment itself, it was mentioned uh, that even though he retires, he will continue on contract till May 2016 and it was, as I said, mentioned in the appointment letter that he'll have a three-year term or 
he will serve uh, as far as the pleasure of the government is concerned depending on the intimation which comes earlier so of course we have the intimation which has come earlier the only point is that it was not the modi administration which gave him the extension it was a part of his appointment letter which of course came in at the time of the upa administration back to you alajugal thanks so much for that update we're going to keep coming back to you for more as the story develops